Nicole Smith and Steve Kahn from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Today we're going to look at techniques on how to deal with the left-handed fighter. Now historically you're not going to find a lot of documented evidence of left-handed fighters. That's not saying they didn't exist, but it was strongly discouraged. Even today it's strongly discouraged. I used to have a grandmother that would continually take things from my left hand and put them in my right hand as a toddler to fix me. Now try as they might, they couldn't get rid of the lefties. So. Here are a few things that will benefit you when facing a sinister opponent. The vast majority of people in this world are right-handed, so left-handed fighters have a wee bit of an advantage going in. All of their training partners are most likely right-handed. In fact, it's kind of funny watching two left-handed fighters fight. They're not accustomed to left-handers either. Intercepting and controlling your opponent's line is essential to defeating a left-handed opponent. So when you're training your footwork, make sure you train lateral movement. A fighter who is too linear is going to have a much greater difficulty adapting to a left-handed fighter. When facing a right-handed opponent and I want to take the inside line, I'm going to create a wedge using my palm up position. This changes for the left-handed fighter. When facing a left-handed opponent, my positioning of the sword is essentially reversed. Instead of coming to the palm up position, I change to the other side and control my opponent's blade to the palm down position. Not only does my sword position change, but the position of my footwork changes to attain maximum control. Follow-up attacks change a little as well. When facing a right-handed opponent, and I've taken his sword offline using my palm up wedge, and he displaces my sword, I'm going to step offline with a passing step and cut to his head. Simple. With the mirror-handed fighters, this changes dramatically. I begin with my palm down wedge position. As my sword gets displaced, I bring it up to a hanging position while using a gather step instead of a passing step to complete my counter cut. Now, cutting is another area where left-handed fighters changes the angles quite a bit. If I'm in my right hand and I do a downward descending cut towards Steve and he responds with the same, we'll meet in the middle. If I do exactly the same thing with my left-handed, I'm most likely going to wind up cutting him in the wrist. Good for me, bad for Steve. Against a left-handed fighter, I'm going to need to change the trajectory of my cut in order to properly intercept her attack. I'm going to need to cut from my left to my right in order to properly intercept the attack and it opens up the possibility of me going into a thrust to finish the exchange. These are just a few of the techniques you can use against left-handed fighters. There are plenty more. If you're interested in having us do a follow-up video, please leave a message in the comments below. Whether you're just starting out training in HEMA or you've been training for a long time, training left-handed provides you with a lot of benefits. Being able to switch between your right and your left on the fly is an advantage in a match, but one of the overlooked benefits is that you're providing your training partners with valuable experience against left-handed fighters. So, that when you run into one in a tournament or sparring, you'll be that much more prepared for the encounter. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. If you enjoy the content that we produce and want to join one of our live online classes, please click the link below. And remember, if you don't put in the training, you won't get the results.